Hello, my name is Mr. McLean. I'm Director of Maths at Heathcote School. What I'm going to do in this very brief presentation for our virtual open evening is speak to you about a number of different things. I'm going to speak about the, the members of my department at the school, our roles, the vision of the department, what happens when your son or daughter arrives, the overview of the curriculum, and the expectation that we have of students when they're here, some of the resources that we use, and then marking and feedback, lastly, enrichment. These are the members of our team. I'm there on the left hand side there. It's my third year in post and we've really moved forward with a lot of different things um, since I've arrived here uh, in terms of improving the life chances of the students at the school, improving their mathematics, their resilience and understanding that learning comes through making mistakes, uh, being reflective and trying again. Ms Jacobs is our second in department. Ms Hyde is new to post. She joined us last year, but is our Key Stage 3 coordinator now. Ms. Nawaz Khan is our key stage five coordinator who looks, up, coordinator who looks after our A-level pupils. Now, Ms. Altav is a fourth year teacher at Heathcote School. Ms. Collins is our longest serving teacher and she's also uh, responsible for enrichment. Mr. Wiggins is a lead teacher in the school. Uh, he specializes in a number of areas, uh, an A-level teacher as well, and does a lot of things within the school outside of the department. Ms. Kazanidis um, is also a fourth year teacher. She started the same year as Ms. Altaf. Uh, she teaches uh, quite a significant amount of our A-level, which is A-level maths and A-level further maths. Ms Gardner is our SEN coordinator, but she also teaches in the department. She has been in the department for uh, as long as I have been as well. We started the same year. Ms Olga is uh, new to the school and teaching in the department this year. And unfortunately, I do not have a picture of Ms Ahmed, but she's a maths teacher who's also started this year at the school. Now, the departmental vision is this. Mathematics helps our pupils to better understand the world around them. At Heathcote, we welcome our pupils, um, we help our pupils, sorry, become the best mathematicians that they can be, whilst working hard to encourage them to have a healthy attitude towards any challenge they may encounter. Really important, like I've said already, that they really try um, to understand con uh, the maths that they're doing in context. Uh, they're able to apply their knowledge to new situations and they really work on their problem solving. Now the groupings now are changing here at Heathcote, whereby uh, in years gone by it was set to one all the way down to set seven. We have three classes for higher and four classes for foundation and they are mixed groups. When your um, son or daughter arrives in uh, September, we use the Key Stage 2 find scores, which is from their SATs, um, Key Stage 2 SATs. We place them in either one of those tiers and that is going to be a mixed group. What we do from there on out is if we have our um, challenge weeks, which take place three times a year, we make set changes at a particular point in time. We are now really just focusing on uh, changes across tiers and we won't really be making changes across group unless there's a specific reason for it. So, for example, some students will move from high to, high to foundation and others from uh, foundation to higher. Here's a general overview of our curriculum. Just a breakdown of the things that we cover from year seven to 13 in mathematics. We have changed things so in year seven and year eight, content is being taught at the same time. In years gone by, because of the way the curriculum was, you might find that the higher group and the foundation group were doing different topics, but we're we've had it now so that on the same content, so if there are any changes, students won't have missed out on any content, any significant content. Uh, each student is expected to do some pre-reading and that's before the, the, the topic starts. So for example, we've got some pre-reading here on number and it goes through the rules that they, they would have learned in primary school, but it's just jogging their memory. And the second one here is about fractions. And again, just jogging their memory about key points and some key facts that's really important for them. Uh, curriculum maps break down why we teach what we teach to each year group. And again, I said we've changed the order to ensure that there's um, a parallel curriculum for the foundation and higher students as far as contents covered, whether it be algebra, whether it be number, uh, shape, space, or geometry. All we're doing is ensuring that the, the topics are being taught at the same time. These are the books that we use electronically to deliver some course content. We also use um, a significant amount of online resources um, and that, that, that um, covers a wide range of um, topics. We ensure that we tailor the lessons to the needs of our students. So we, in planning, uh, we aren't rigid just to stick to the book. We do um, ensure that we have resources that benefit all of our students, all of our pupils. 
I've kind of mentioned this in terms of free higher classes and free foundation classes for Key Stage 3. Um, there are small groups that are taken out of some of our foundation classes so that we can work uh, maybe in some cases one to one or one to three and they get additional support. These are the books that we use for our Key Stage 4 curriculum. Um, readily available on Amazon, but again, we use this electronic group. <coughs> excuse me, electronically. And what we do with this is we do advise that students um, do uh, go away and buy revision books to ensure that they're keeping on top of their content. Really important that they do that. A very similar situation for the Key Stage 4 curriculum. We've got three um, classes for higher, four for foundation currently, and they are mixed. Again, when I say mixed, it's mixed within the tier. There's no crossover there. They're mixed within the tier. Now, this says the foundation tier, and it's true now that it's covered from five to one. In old money, a grade five is around a B, and that wouldn't have happened in previous um, uh, ex exams with Edexcel. The foundation tier, the highest it would go up to previously, uh, was the equivalent of a C grade. So that's a big change. Now, it says higher tier covers grade one to nine. In the exam, students are tested from grades nine to four, actually. And what you will find is um, it, we have a situation now where you can see there's a crossover. that Grade five can be achieved on both the higher and foundation paper. So for that reason, we have to make a, a decision sometimes in some cases where students are borderline, pupils are borderline, and we, um, we are trying to get them the best grade. There are three papers, each paper are 90 minutes long with 80 marks on each. So it's 240 marks across the papers there. These are some of the expectations that we have of students when they arrive. And I'll, you know, I'll leave that here for you to read really in terms of the pen that they bring to lesson and the reason they have them. The only item we don't expect them to bring, and you can see as that, that image bounced down is a compass. We will provide students with a compass uh, for both their exams and in classes where they will need it. It's a banned item at the school. Just again, some more uh, of our expectations in terms of the presentation in books. It's something you can read yourselves. And our expectations around classroom behavior. The very last point where it says developing a culture of dirty maths, that is where we're trying to encourage students to use their mini whiteboards and their books to make mistakes. Uh, we had a review at the end of my first year at Heathcote and it was said that a lot of the students were scared of making errors. So they, they actually, in case there were some cases where students wouldn't write anything down, but they would wait for the teacher to write answers uh, and then copy those answers down. We're trying to really encourage our students to um, show the working, show errors in the working and be reflective in that and own their mathematics is very important. We do use MathWatch. Uh, we set online homeworks using that. Homework is set twice a week. Uh, often one is virtual, one is a written homework in the back of their books. Every child receives a username and a password. Here's some examples of how we mark. Uh, when we do mark, it's really very important that students reflect on the information they've been given. And then when they're directed to do another question to consolidate what they have learned, that they go away and do it. Uh, it's not a case of I've been marked, so I'm done. It's I've been marked, what do I need to do to improve? When they do their challenge week exams, we give them something called a question level analysis that breaks down all their areas of strength and weakness so they can go away and in the, in the, by themselves independently uh, work on those topics that they need to improve on. It's really very important. Again, just some examples of some of our marking. Now, we do run a maths club for Key Stage 3. This helps and supports students that um, at lunchtime uh, would just require some support with things that they've learned in lessons. It does help significantly. Unfortunately, in the COVID, under COVID, we, we're not able to do this. But again, when your son or daughter arrives in September, uh, this is something that we will be doing to uh, support them. On to some of our enrichment. Now, we run a year five math challenge, and this is Al Alana uh, from Yardley Primary School who won it. Uh, not last year, but the year previously. Unfortunately, we weren't able to run it last year. Uh, we can see here the runners up were Woodford Green and Selman Primary School. It was a really well attended event. We were very happy to see the students there. Again, just some more pictures from that event. Miss Collins runs the UKMT uh, Maths Challenge. It's a national competition where students compete against uh, other schools nationally and they receive um, certificates, bronze, uh, silver and gold. And they also receive a best in school certificate. 
uh, we ran an event uh, for women in STEM careers afternoon. And the reason that we did that is when I arrived, I realized there was a, a big imbalance in the number of uh, female pupils who were taking um, A level. We had a large number of male pupils, but um, there was a gender imbalance. Uh, we had um, ladies coming from um, areas or what work, the work sector where maths is used significantly speaking to uh, the girls informing them of why it was so important and why maths is for them as well and I was very pleased that the following year we went from five students taking the A-level to 14 so that was a real success really happy with that. Now we've come to the end of the slides now uh, and I'm going to leave with just my, um, my email address there. Thank you so much for listening. Um, if you have any questions please do not hesitate to get in touch. Um, you can email me uh, on the address there or call, call the school uh, and ask to speak to me directly. Again, my name is Mr. McLean, I'm the Director of Math. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, we really look forward to welcoming your son or daughter when they arrive in September. Thanks ever so much.